evening and welcome into the five o'clock news on WMAR. I'm Jamie Costello. Listen, if you sat in your seat at New Psalmist or you sat in your living room in Falston, you have to think only in America, only in America can a man born to sharecroppers end his time on earth with two former presidents at his funeral. WMAR 2 News, Brian Kubler with words that continue to bounce down West Lexington to North Warwick. Brian. Jamie, it was an at capacity crowd here this morning. Some people had to actually be turned away, but still the message here resonated well beyond just west, northwest Baltimore. The entire nation came to Baltimore to send Congressman Elijah Cummings home. Current lawmakers, past presidents, and those vying to become the next one, all of them went to Elijah's church today after he left what Nancy right. Pelosi called the master of the house. He held himself to a high standard, and that is why I've called him the North Star of Congress, our guiding light. Former Congressman Kwaizi Mfume called Cummings a big timber of a man. President. President Bill Clinton said he always found comfort in Elijah's voice in his mission. I love this man. I love every minute I ever spent with him, every conversation we ever had. I loved his booming voice. But we should hear him now in the quiet times at night and in the morning when we need courage. That courage could also be found in the congressman's message. President Barack Obama said Cummings' life validates what we tell ourselves is possible in this country and that it is time for others to continue that conviction. And it now falls on us to continue his work so that other young boys and girls in Baltimore across Maryland, across the United States, and around the world, might too have a chance to grow and to flourish. That's how we will honor him. That's how we will remember him. That's what he would hope for. May God bless the memory of the very honorable Elijah Cummings. And may God bless this city and this state and this nation that he loved. Now this service caps off a week long celebration of the congressman's life. It was scheduled to go two hours this morning. It went four. In Northwest Baltimore this evening, Brian Kubler, WMAR, two news.